I'm Philip Benton and I'm a barber and co-owner of Greasy Fingers Barber and Tattoos. My name is Joshua Webster and I'm the, a barber and the co-owner of Greasy Fingers Rock and Roll Barber Shop. Uh, me and Phil were both working um, in another shop and it just really wasn't for us. We weren't feeling the same vibe in that shop that we wanted. We wanted somewhere more closer to us that more resembled us, somewhere that we wanted to have as a relaxed atmosphere, but not just for us, for the customers as well, where everyone could knit together as like a tight community. The customers knew us, we knew the customers. They could feel comfortable enough to come and grab themselves a beer, enjoy. All I ever really wanted was a place where I wanted to come and hang out, whether I was cutting hair or just sitting behind the chair, talking to friends and customers, and Greasy Fingers just evolved from that. There is literally nothing stopping people from doing whatever the hell they want. They can just go out there, and if you set your targets, you can do it. We didn't really know where we were gonna start and how far we were gonna go with this place. We just jumped in, and we didn't listen to anybody that told us that we couldn't do it or it wouldn't work. We just said, well, we're gonna give it a go. We've got a, a three-story building, so we're hoping, well, we are going to put Tattoo Studio on the top floor. And then on the middle floor, we're going to be starting our own clothing brand, as well as stocking well-known brands that you can't find in anywhere else in the city. It's all part of one lifestyle. So the people that are into the haircuts that we specialise in uh, are probably going to be interested in hot rod culture, into tattoos, into like passionate about music. Community is a huge, huge thing. Uh, you said not on a business level, but as a business, virtually everybody I know who's a very close friend now started out as a customer. I think what City of Culture will do for people's aspect outside Hull is when, if they get the chance to visit, they'll see that Hull really isn't a bad place to live at all and that it is full of all these different subcultures and communities. People can go out and start meeting each other and starting these communities and starting great friendships which then progress on. The legacy that next year will have on culture, subculture, will ripple for decades to come.